What a game we have in store. Another Inferno, but actually, I know people are tired of Inferno, but this may well be the uh, the greatest stage for a game like this. A perfectly balanced or balanced map that teams both enjoy playing. No excuses, no nothing. Maybe this is the right setting for this game. I don't think it's a reason not to like a map because it's being played a lot. It's being played a lot because it's such a good map. And like you said, it's very balanced. Both these teams are good on it. So let's just get going. Let's get going, but not until I've asked you to put that Lurpus Esports Fund of CPL checks onto our winner for this map. I'm going to put it on Very Games because I want a third map. We all want a third map, my friend. Except NIP. And NIP are the only people yeah. and their friends who don't want a third map. I think even some of that great crowd we've got would just love to see this carry on. I, w I would assume so. But we'll see. Big numbers on the stream as well for CSGO. Huge, huge numbers in game. We thank you very much for joining us. And, uh, really nice spinning. headshot by Exist there. Taking out shocks early on. Nice shot through a really small crack. There. Very games with Smiths. He's going to have to go very big. And that's what I call very big. Two big frags. Make that three. Freiburgs finally stops him here, but he's done his job. Fifth Laren comes in. MBK gets himself one back, and we're in a two versus one. Fifth Laren did this last half. He did get himself one on two and won the round for NIP, but we'll see on a pistol whether he can do it and whether Fairy Games could win their first pistol of the round. They know where Fifth Laren is. And I was about to say they maybe don't need to go looking for him, but. <laughs> NBK and Smith. Smith just saved, just bailed NI, uh, Very Games, excuse me there. I mean, it really looked like NIP were just going to run over them as they entered that site with those entry kills. But Smith, as is. we see here, just really nice headshots. And what a start for Very Games. So, Very Games get the confidence they need. Smith will be waxing lyrical about his performance there. And uh, Scream with a shotgun. And NIP on a full save round, actually. They have not gone for the P250 armor buy that we see Very Games do so often. NIP on a full save round, and we'll see what they choose to do with it. Get right. Pops up. Shocks waiting for action with his Famous. And uh, some covering fire. Freiburg's pushed his way all the way up towards B, but is forced back down the banana walkway. Two players, three players in uh, ready to make their move in towards A. It's going to be Forrest that hooks his head out in the mid. It'll be Scream and his uh, shotgun that'll see him first. Sorry, it's Smiths. And that uh, is M4 that will see them first as they come around that corner. Opening shot from Smiths. That's one, that's two, that's three. Oh, take a bow. He made it look all so easy. And, you know, Smiths is warmed up. Smiths is... He's uh, killed seven guys in two rounds so far. I mean, obviously that was a save round, but... Just still, you still got to hit very, those very shots. Very nicely controlled shots. I mean, that wasn't like a spray. He aimed individually at every single player, wasted barely any bullets, and <laughs> One just... One clip. Boom. So, 2-0. Clean as you could ask for for Very Games, and NIP now have uh, AKs to boot. Not many nades, though, for them. And uh, we'll see whether that hinders them making an entrance. They will have uh, Screen pushed out now. He fires a few shots down and... He's going to continue his extension in towards Banana. Si spies nothing and doesn't call for reinforcements as a result. And at halftime, I'm going to ask you, uh, at the end of this round, I'm going to ask you about the choice to go with no nades. But Exist gets himself a frag onto Smith. Mr. Very Games has been down. Shocks. Though gets himself one to get right. Nip still with a man advantage as Freiburg goes towards the site. Exist gets it. Screams before Shocks comes in, and we go tit for tat and level us up. Shocks in existence quickly give Very Games the man advantage. It's two Famouses versus one AK as Exist moves away towards the B site. Has nobody there. Good quick rotation. Bomb on his back, and Very Games still blissfully unaware. So he will do his job. They need to start moving those legs as quickly as they can get them over here. And this is actually not a hard round for Exist at all. Oh, no pressure. How, how Very Games <laughs> play this. I mean, he has, he's going to have killed a lot of time off the, off the timer of the bomb by the time Very Games actually gets there. Only Exist, that, oh, actually now Shaxi has a kid as well, but it's not a tough round for Exist. He could very well win this round. And we'll see what happens here as Existence and Shucks are desperate to try and locate Exist on the, on the bomb site. Here I we go! Oh, kill existence! number two for Existence, and by the way, I believe that was a five-on-two for a brief couple seconds for NIP. What a turnaround by Shocks. 
He's just been so good this entire tournament, and a seek three kill there, followed by the leader existence, picking up two of his own, and just amazing play by Very Games. Great stuff from them. Three rounds, and uh, though they lost a lot of men in that last round, are uh, in good nick this. As uh, we go into, you know, I wanted to actually. Split, uh, change short pattern here. Sharks on Inferno in particular. He loves this map. We've seen Scream do really well on Dust, or not in the last one, but we saw it last night. Yeah. But Sharks on Inferno, this is, you just don't want to take him off. Yeah, Shox has had some crazy games on Inferno lately, and I mean, just the fact that Shox and Exist, Shox, Existence, and Smiths have or, all already put in nice rounds like that, it's a little alarming because in the first map, we didn't really see too many very games players heat up. Or they did, but way too late. As Gamerite actually has an AK here, unlike everybody else. And we'll see if he can get an entry kill here on Existence. Nope, and now Very Games are aware that Gamerite is in possession of that AK, and they're going to be a lot more careful around the map. Going to rotate someone over towards that site as they fire in towards the incoming Swedes. The uh, three players did quickly rotate around and go, went up towards A. Freiburg's been dropped by the grenade of Smiths, and... Uh, the bomb will come with them now. Hadn't decided what they were going to do with that bomb initially, but Smith is going to see action and dispatches a forest. Get right is still standing with that AK. There's still a hope for them. Fifth Laren goes looking for love in CT spawn. Doesn't find it. Get right's going to follow him around, and the bomb is coming with them. But uh, Get right out for the count. Existence of Smith combined, and that's five unanswered frags. Four zero and, very games. And a quad kill for Smith. Granted, once again on a save round, but this guy has 11 kills in four rounds. And what a strong start by Berry Games. And the Swedish crowd have been silenced for the first time. 4-0. Berry Games, great start for them as they will look to add to their count. Full buy here for NIP, though. First full buy on full buy because the third round was a non-nade round for uh, NIP. Yep. So let's see what they've got to offer. Let's see what they choose to do indeed. They probably will be playing fairly slow like they did on Dust 2. There's so much at stake here. They just don't want to take too many risks. They probably, I mean, they must have faith in their own game, which is what they're going to be doing most of the time. Not anything too crazy. Just what they're used to doing, what they feel comfortable doing. And we'll see how very games can match up against that. Shocks. He's going to see some action here as Forrest is going to edge his way in through the tunnel. Oh, sorry, in through the hallway. Goes through Shocks, doesn't get the first frag. He's going to help MBK out, though. Softens the blow for him, who gets two. And now Shocks will get himself the third frag as Smith helps himself to one. Five unanswered frags. Very games on fire. And what a dominating round win again. NBK getting those three kills. I was watching Shocks in the side as he just saw the NIP players jumping out of the hall, getting into the pit. And it actually looked a little worrisome, but NBK just shot everybody down. and. That was just a dominating round win. Like you said, NIP had all the nades, all the smokes, everything. They had money to purchase just anything they wanted, and, and they didn't even get to Shox's use any way. of it. Sharks was sat in the yeah. site, nothing flashed in, yeah, nothing exactly. pushed him out. Exactly. So that was just kind of a waste for all those nades. I always cry for a wasted nade. Who doesn't? Uh, a lot of damage dealt early on Freiburg and exist as NIP aggressively take Banana. Very games have had three people defending there, now just two. And we'll see who's going to get the opening kill that's going to be Freiburg. But exists 16 health and existence escapes untouched. Smith did take a little bit of damage on the other side, and uh, MBK will go back round towards A now because they smell a ruse. As we also buy Fifth Laren. CT spawn side of mid as he will go around. Sees Smith just on the edge there. Smith has taken some damage, remember. And uh, reinforcements going to come from CT spawn. In fact, it's going to be. Oh, until a little bit of noise. There was some noise on that uh, banana walkway that forced the, the rotation to stop. And NIP will go up against that, uh, well, a very powerful, very games team regardless look of at, that. Look at this. NIP are walking up the counter-terrorist side of middle. And Existence is going to spot him now, I believe. Was it Existence? Nope. That was Shoxi. And NIP are going to get entry into the site. We'll see what Shoxi and I believe it is. Smith, Smith gets over big there frags. in the pit. Get right, trying to look for the head of Shox. Peaking, and that's another run for Very Games. Nice play by both Smiths, who scored those two quick AK headshots from the pit, and Existence, who got two kills in the B side and stopped that fake Smith that NIP were trying at, to run. Uh, 14 kills. 14 and 3. Amazing. Six rounds in. Screamer hasn't got a kill on the board yet. 
Yeah, he, to be fair, he hasn't seen a lot of action, has he? Yeah. Um, not often you can say that, but look at that for Smith. 14 kills on the board. NIP's top fragger, three. That's how dominant this has been for very games. And uh, that wish of a third map to keep us entertained that little bit longer is uh, six rounds closer, but this hasn't been the six rounds we expected. No, it hasn't, but I mean, very games are a very strong counter terrorist team on Inferno. So it's expected that, it is expected that uh, NIP would struggle, but the, the fashion in which very games have won the round has been surprising. I mean, they really have given NIP no chance whatsoever in these first rounds, have, have once again forced the Swedes on a save round. Smith's gonna see action here, gets frag number one onto Forrest, he's gonna have a second one making the jump into the breach and he gets rid of him. It's gonna be for Flaren now making the next move, Smith will help himself happily to more frags here. He knows where they are, they know where he is. It's all a little bit uh, tense as Smith's. We'll see Fifth Lara now. Fifth Lara jumps across, gets himself the frag with the help of, in fact, shocks in the end. Get right, gets himself that M4. He's going to have to go one on three here to add to his already existing tally. As Get right, there's two in the spawn there. Dodges around the corner, tries to get that next kill. Can't do it. Loses a bit of health, but has certainly enough to play with as the very game sandwich pushes out and kills him. And that'll be 7 0 Berry Games. What a dominant start. Who could have seen this coming? Not one. Not me. So 7-0 very games early on, but once again, we do have to remind everybody that in Counter-Strike, things change quickly. 7-0 doesn't mean a whole lot, because regardless, you need 16 rounds to, 16 rounds to win. So it's not, like a, it's not a sport like football or hockey where you score a couple of goals and you stay ahead. You still need to keep winning. It's, it's never enough to be in the lead early on in a half. And we're not even halfway into the first half. Frag comes in for exit, there's NIP get the kill they needed. It's MBK that's gone down. And they will leave the bomb on Banana. Two players will extend up and they've got Shox to see some action here. That nade does do 23 points of health damage, but Shox is waiting. Doesn't want to give away that he has been... But it looks like Getright does know where he is, because Shox... Uh, Getright keeps flashing in that direction. Here comes Six Ed. That's three frags for him! Sorry, Frybo picked up the second or third one, but NIP have got control of the B-bomb site, surely. Smith with the AWP, goes for his hit, gets him, and Frybo gets frag number four. It's now all on shots, 1v4. And Exist got himself big, big frags there. Cometh the hour, cometh the man for NIP. Yep, and Shox will now attempt to save that AK he has, or M4, excuse me. We'll see if he's going to be able to do it or not. Doesn't look like NIP are in too big of a too big of a rush to go chase him, as they don't have a whole lot of money themselves. Yeah, shocks could uh, make this very expensive for them. As uh, he will wait, but NIP are going to get themselves on the board here. It's going to be seven-one, and well, you got to start somewhere. You do have to start somewhere. And it's not a pl bad place to start. I mean, if if NIP just win the next, say, four rounds, all of a sudden it's not looking that bad at all. So it really, it really is not relevant at all what order you win the rounds, as long as you do win them. I love that guy in the crowd. He loves NIP so much, he's got a fractured arm, and yet he's still clapping. He's He's got the, the cast That's on dedication. That is dedication. You, sir, deserve an autograph from Heaton. I can't make that happen for you, unfortunately. Uh, but I'm just saying you deserve it. As uh, Very Games now will look to see whether that was a blip. As uh, this pushes all the way up, gets grenaded by Scream. And that'll be Very Games stopping the rock quickly. They stopped any push coming up that beat, uh, that beat. 
banana route and with it he's forced all of NIP to stop in their tracks. Get right right up there. He and Shucks. Oh, picked it off. Nice and shot Shucks. by Shucks there. Had only the head to aim for, and thus. That seems to be working it. out well for him. He doesn't need to see much more, does he? <laughs> Shows you just how accurate he is. Forrest now will join Fifth Flower and going around the CT side of mid. Has one very games player up on the side. I think it's Scream that's up there. Sorry, Smith is there. And uh, he's quickly got out of there as the shots will push forward. Fifth Lara waits, pushes now as uh, the NIP side take out the poor chicken. For very games, they've done their job. They're waiting on NIP to come to them. They got themselves the first two frags, and they don't have to really move. They can allow them to push, and they can allow them to come, and they'll just hopefully, for their sake, get themselves into a big crossfire. Very Games picked themselves up frag number one, and two, and three, and that will be Very Games, a five-man clean sweep to make it 8-1. Luckily for NIP, though, they had gone for a full save just around before they won their opening round and four of their players survived last round, so they actually have plenty of money still for this round. It's not even close to them having to have, having to, have to save. In fact, they might still be able to buy the next round, even if they were to lose, lose this, so even though they won one round and lost one, which is traditionally what you don't want to do in terms of the economy in Counter-Strike. They're actually pretty well off because of their because of their save rounds. 8-1 very games. Yes, I can hear Lurpus saying, don't get carried away. Don't get carried away. But it's hard not to. It's hard to not be excited by this very game CT side. Because we you should saw be excited. Complexity. Just not carried away. We saw Complexity beat Very Games on this map yesterday, and Very Games offered nothing like this for a defense. Yep. So, well, to be fair, no one on Very Games is playing like Smits is right now, so that's a major difference from yesterday. Very true. NIP have moved the bomb up banana ever so slightly, and three players ready to join the uh, B bomb site from the CT spawn site. Get right opens up the frag with one on two uh, Smiths, and that is going to sandwich in a five on two. Actually, it'll be only a four on two. Shocks is going to keep one occupied. It's Forrest that'll go down. Good work from him. Oh, Shocks! That is beautiful. Get right, Forrest, both out. Two danger men go, and there's frag number three for Scream. And big players play big rounds, and they've done exactly that for very games right when they needed them. They were two, They were a man down, and looked like they'd be in a horrible position in that B site. Hasn't happened for them. They've recovered. They need just one more. He not to exist, but he comes out firing. Drops MBK. And now we're at three on two. Afterplant exists with only 12 points to help the play with. NIP firing their way out of trouble. Freiburg gets one. Scream's going to stop him. It's all on exists. 12 points to help and a bomb to play with as he gets rid of the first man. Can't finish off the job. And a collective sigh from the Swedish crowd as Very Games will make this 9-1. And what a what a nice try by NIP there, actually. It really looked like Very Games were going to be able to run away with the round after Shoxi's two kills that are going to be re, re shown here. Just nice play by him. He's just really on fire. But, you know, Exist and Freiburg were very close to winning this round. Exist, not many bullets away from clutching that for his team. 9-1 Very Games. Please let me know when I can get carried away. Uh, in three rounds. Three rounds. Corey Dunn can carry you away. Okay, so 9-1, very games. NIP on a buy round. Not a lot of money left for them as of right now, but still a decent buy for now. Fiflarin is the only person without a rifle. Has a P250 in his hands. And very games just looking super hot so far. They're just hitting all, almost all their shots. Smiths is 18 and 6, 10 rounds in. He's getting almost two kills a round. And their defense is just looking so good. Third map would be Nuke. Which indeed. Smith's about to see some action here as NIP push him back. He will nade out existence, gets frag number one. Freiburg goes down. And uh, Smith's self flash essentially as uh, he pushes in, is now going to get flashed by the T's who push out of that position, decide that's not a fight they can win against him, and they've actually pushed all the way back down mid. They're going to try and make a move in towards B where it's only one and a half players for the time being. They'll now the rest of them make their way in towards that site to join him. And 
Forrest going through CT spawn will offer the eyes and ears that says three players are actually on the far, far right-hand side of A. Incendiary Grenade will slow things down. In we go now with Exist. Frag one for Forrest. NIP make a clean, clean entry in towards B. There's actually a man. Not going to get it. It's Fist Flaren that will pick him off. Existence goes down. And Berry Games going to race on in here. They know they've got money to play with, so they can afford to try and take this back. Smiths can't see anyone, though. Nip ghosts in the B-bomb site. They get the first frag. It's Get Right that goes down. Second man is Forrest. It's Existence for Flaren to try and save this round for them. And they can't do it. I don't believe it. Berry Games. You know, I actually don't believe that either. That really looked like NIP were going to win that round, but... I mean, that just goes to show how good the teamwork on Very Games is. They're down by so many players. NIP is set up so well in that site to defend so that well. retake. They were so hard to find. I know. And Very Games, just perfect teamwork and communication, just easily take out NIP. And they really, they did make it look easy. 10-1, Very Games. And this is starting to remind me of the uh, DreamHack Winner Grand Final from last year, where NIP just completely ran over Very Games. So it was 16-2 on this very same map. Two rounds until I can get carried away. Yep. That. It'll be... Wow. A little stunned silence from the commentators here is that... Uh, One of these matches will do that to you. NIP... Now sort of here's a, the curse sort of a for very by, games. Yeah. Every time they pick up the auto sniper, it backfires. We'll see if that's still the case here. They've given it to Smith's not existence though this time, as uh, existence will, he and his M4, see some action up at B. Smoke has got to play either side of it, Freiburg! Makes an entry point for them, but the bomb is not going that way, and actually frags are coming in from Smith's and Scream. NIP lose two after getting a beautiful opening. Now it's all on Get Right, who's uh, being pushed by MBK out of the house and into the loving arms of Shocks is AK. And doesn't look too loving to me. <laughs> Tough love. Yeah, that, that's tough love. 2v4 for Fiflarin and Exist who hope to scramble something together here. Exist goes to the spawn side of middle, trying to look for a pick here. He keeps moving up. Fiflarin, I believe, got spotted there in lane. And Exist needs to get a quick kill here for NIP to have a chance. And he is getting on the flank. BK is going to see some action to his left, you can see. Here we go. He's got Fiflarin just poking around the corner. Both of them taking a fair bit of damage. Fiflarin is going to try and make this hard for them. Gets frag number one onto MBK. He's going to then dart back towards the bomb site. Exist gets the second one. Nice work for an IP here. It's now all on Fiflarin. One on two. One to the left, one to the right. He goes for the first man. Can't get it. Dance to the second, assuming he'd come. And he did, but he's down. And we are one round away from getting carried away. And by very the way, games. very nice play by NIP there. Exist lurked all the way around as Fiflarin kept disrupting the two players in the pit area. And one, once Exist missed his opening shot, he didn't simply try to run in blindly. He threw a perfect flash to blind the people, both defenders in the pit. Fiflarin killed one of them. Unfortunately for him, he didn't know there was a second player there. He would have been a free kill for, for Fiflarin as well. And then when Exist got that one kill on the rotators, they actually came very close from, to winning a 2v4. And three great individual plays there from NIP. The two you've just cited, and actually the opening frag from Freiburg to open up the Yeah, that too. So, but still, still feel even tough. that is not enough at all times. They'll feel like they've had hard luck. But they'll look at that scoreline, and in one round they might stop getting carried away. 11-1. Three 11 points. 1 indeed. Two players mid, two on banana. One rotating round now, I think, to join on banana. The bomber's gone a long way up there. Freiberg and, uh, looking for the head of existence once again. Can't connect this time. NIP have four players in the banana, and it looks like they are getting ready to, e to enter that A site. Exist is still in, around the boiler room area. He might either going to be faking A or flanking it as Forrest gets ready to enter the B site. Nades out. Here we go. NIP make the move into B. First frag scream. And they're going to look for that second one now on the incendiary grenade. But get right. Does get one before existence opens up with two. Very games look to follow this in. It's going to be for Flaren to collect the bomb. He has got exist coming up the back to even up the numbers. But it's two versus four. And make that one on four. For Flaren and the bomb tumble to the ground. And exist is going to have to lead his team out of it. But he can't. And it's 12 1 Very games. As this is becoming an Absolute route.
It's, looks like a slaughter so far. And by the way, what, such good play by Existence once again. Scream wasn't able to get a kill, but Existence just a perfectly timed incendiary, incendiary grenade, and then just a nice spray running through that smoke after flashing, getting two kills, and then ultimately a third kill there. Just very good defense by Very Games, and I wouldn't even know what to do if I were an IP. This is such a reversal for Very Games on Inferno CT side. We've seen a lot of them on it, but they've never looked like this. This is they've locked it down like a bank. Yep. 12-1. Only two rounds left in this half for Very Games to close out what would be the absolute perfect response. Smiths is going to push out. He's going to see Forrest any second now. Lines up the shot. Doesn't quite get it this time. And he'll drop back. Shox has get right coming his way and he's got more than that it's going to be Forrest who comes towards him first get right gets the entry frag Freiburg follows up on the shocks and the eighth bomb site is now property of ninjas in pajamas can they do anything about it Smith's in his order Riper get two reinforcements need to come his way though as he is going all on his lonesome Freiburg gets there and where was existence he needed to be in there as Smith was creating the diversion but we're still in a two on Three here as NIP with very little health. Now only with Scream left. Existence goes down. We're on Thor in the site. Scream over on the other side is down. And NIP do pick themselves up around. Oh, look at the man with the cast. And uh, he got someone to sign it. I hope it was Heaton. I, I really hope so too. We're going to have to find out. Yeah. If not, Lopez, I think you might be signing. Can you do a good Heaton signature? Uh, well, I'll start practicing. 12 2, last round of the half. NIP. Did this in, in at dust. It was 10-2, and they turned it around right at the end. But this is coming from 11. Uh, this is coming from 12-1. The crazy thing is, NIP is such a good team. This is still not an unwinnable match. If they win this round, they win the Counter Strike this round. Anything is possible. As Exist picks up two entry kills in Banana. Five two. on three advantage for NIP. Two big big frags there. But if very games don't convert this map. I will eat my hat. I will eat that man's cast. Do we get to watch that on the stream? <laughs> well, as long as we get to watch you shave that mustache. 12-2. You're being unreasonable, Stu. <laughs> Five on two. Great round for NIP. As they have... And look how calm NIP still are. It's a five on two. They just don't want to risk it. They know how, how dangerous these last very games players can be as Smith picks up his first kill of the round. Making it a four on two now. Battling two NIP players. Forrest gets the kill. It's a 1v4. Freiburg gets the final kill. And that's going to be 12 to 3 first half here. Crazy stuff for NIP. An absolutely brilliant uh, comeback in the end. Yep. Those last two rounds stopped them from staring down the barrel of immediate defeat. Yeah. That kept them in the game. I mean, they're not even near striking range yet. It's still a long way to go before they can get there. But... You know, if, if Very Games can get 12 rounds on the counter-terrorist side, why couldn't NIP? 25 frags for Smiths in that half. 25 frags. Yeah, that's, that's a big it's, number. It's almost two frags are ha around for the entire half. It's pretty incredible. It is. It's a great performance from Very Games. You know, we often talk about individual talents and so on. And we talked about uh, Shocks and we talked about Scream. But Smiths there and Existence coming up big when they needed them because they needed answers it could have easily been a case of them getting washed away having lost dust but no no sirree bob they came back yep and just like you said a lot of good play even nbk had a couple of big rounds it's just everybody all across the board for very games started chipping in and that's what happens when a, a team such as very games with that much skill has all their players playing to their full potential nbk who had a very very quiet inferno against copenhagen wolves last night well not so quiet today. So remember, we've seen two losses in two days for Very Games on this map. Yep. First against Complexity in what was an absolute, you know, beautiful game of CS. It was, you know, all over the place. But against Copenhagen Wolves, it was a lot more controlled for the yep. Wolves. So this, as a reaction, as a complete shutdown on the first half from Very Games, they've dug deep. We're going to take a look at the teams and see how they're prepped for this one. There are the Very Games side, calm and collected as always. Few words between them. NIP, much more vocal. Let's hear your home crowd. They're your heroes, and they need it. The home crowd have been quiet. Yeah. They definitely do need it now. Um, yeah, the home crowd is here. I think there's a couple people watching behind us. <laughs> 
Berry Game side, of course, with huge following back home in uh, in France. And whenever they do well, you see those French flags come out in uh, force yeah, on you, They get to enjoy the same same stuff in uh, Paris for ESWCs. That's where they get the home crowd. Yeah. So, you know, it, it's, it goes back and forth. So 12-3 the score. NIP with an aggressive push down the middle. Very games look to be ready for it, though. Interesting stuff there. Forrest holds back. Freiburg's going to go in, and we'll see the very game side push all the way down the right, coming in towards the A site. It's uh, shocks that's in there for waiting for Freiburg, who rattles off a few shots. Nade comes out. The smoke will allow a point for entry for Berry Games, who have exist in there. Exist was in a perfect position. Smith actually is uh, going to see some action. MBK gets himself the kill on the forest. Smith's ready to jump out and get involved. Get right's gone down on B, and the bombs pull all the way back as uh, Get right is going to see a lot of action here. A whole very game side coming towards him, and he falls back a little bit. He knows what's coming his way. 12 3 the score, and Get right could be the difference between NIP and defeat on map two here of the best of three semi-final for $250,000. Get right got more. He's delayed the fight, but he's still taking it. Frag one, get Smith, get right, frag two, get right, frag three. Can you believe it? He's going to get picked off by MBK in the end, though. And Fifth Laren's going to pick up where get right left off. MBK, 25 points to health. Shocks fully armed. We'll put that bomb down if he can. And uh, is actually in the end delayed out by Fifth Larry and Berry Games having to be forced away from the site. No room for Shocks to breathe. Neff get the fourth frag and it's all on Shocks and he can't do it. Get right changed the game in that round. Get right certainly did, and that actually reminds me of that highlight we saw from one of the earlier matches when Get right had had dualies in that very same spot. He scored four kills that time. Just great play by Get right and you know he is easily one of the top two players in the world, and that's him showing why. That's him showing why. 12-4 the score. Still a big, big deficit, but. They've given themselves a fighting chance, NIP. Indeed they have. For you now, what do you say to, uh, what do you say to Very Games? Because they're going to have been pumped up, full of adrenaline after that first half. How do you calm your players? You did this for, for EG many a time. How do you keep people on a, on a level, level playing field and focus at all times? I mean, basically the key is you just try to, try to play the half as if it was the first half of the game. You just try to completely forget that you're even up, because that, that's no good. You don't want anybody thinking about that stuff while they're playing, so you just try to imagine as if it were the first half. Frag's coming in here for Forrest as he gets rid of Scream. Get Right's got one on the other side. MBK goes down. Lovely shot there. And Get Right gets frag number four. This is going to be a clean sweep for uh, NIP. Only existence left. And uh, he has lost the element of surprise and he's lost his life as well. 12 5. NIP have won four. The last four rounds. Yep. Four rounds in a row for NIP who look to be making a comeback here. And you know, this is. Starting to get to that point where Very Games want to get one round on the board soon. Because the longer it goes, the harder it is going to be for them mentally to get back into the game. As they feel not only NIP heating up, but the crowd behind is getting just louder and louder. Absolutely. 12-5. Seven rounds still. Once Very Games can get on the board, they will calm down a little more in this second half. The crowd clapping rampantly for NIP. Don't know if that's picked up on the stream. Have to assume it is, because it is coming through our earphones. And Forrest is going to try and respond. And NIP playing very safe, very games themselves. Seeing if they could get themselves a cheap kill. NIP offering nothing. And uh, good opening 45 seconds from... NIP lost nothing. Five man push coming up mid now with the bomb, and we're about to see action. Forrest looks up just at the wrong time. In fact, he's got no one coming that way. And uh, they are going to move someone around now in there. It's going to be shocks to entertain Forrest. Existence have pushed up B, but he will come and rejoin the fun as Forrest and shocks 
almost stare one another down. Smith has been picked off on the other side by Exist, and Forrest maybe doesn't know Shox is there, and we'll go through. Here we go. Push comes out now. Forrest gets one, two, and Shox was just too slow. Shox had done his damage. Exist gets himself the frags, and he and Forrest combine to get themselves the final frag onto Shox. And NIP know that they are slowly climbing that mountain. It's 12-6. 12-6, 3 to nothing in the second half, five straight rounds for NIP. This is, like I said, very games want to get on the board soon. Four rounds can be tough to win. If, if the way you win them is you win a round and then you lose the next one, you start, you, you reset your money, you have to save again. All of a sudden, NIP gets those free rounds from the saves and, you know, they start hitting their shots, which it seems like they finally are. NIP can still come back. Very games have players on B, the bomb is with them. And we'll see. Freiburg and that Famous. Get some action. MBK's shot around every corner and is now ready to lead that assault with Get Right lying in wait. They're going to pull that bomb back and, and a lot of noise made by Vero Games. NIP know exactly where they are and for that very reason they will retreat and come back. There were three players actually in B. One did rotate across, so good decision to get out of there. And we'll hear whether they can a quick move in towards A. Capitalize on that, because still three players at B. One deciding now to go around towards uh, CT spawn. That is Get Right who decided, actually, this may not be the attack I thought it was going to be. And here we go. Push comes in towards A now. Get Right will see action coming from CT spawn side if he moves quickly, as the bomb will come that way. And it'll be Forrest who will sound the alarm. It's going to be five men coming that way. Existence gets the first frag. Get Right now going to see action, but they've all made that crossover. Phil Flaren's got a man on his back. It's Shox who gets him. Get Right come back, and he will make, he'll be the man to have to lead the recovery because there are five players in that site. The ball is into position now and will go down. And, and NIP, NIP should be heading to save their weapons. There is no way they're going to be able to retake that site. Uh, they, they took a bit, a bit of a risk there. As you said, they over-rotated a third player to the B-bomb site. Very Games read that, read that well. Existence changed, direct, changed direction. They wound up attacking the A-bomb site. And, you know, NIP just only had two people there. There was no way they were going to hold up Very Games unless one of their two defenders just went completely nuts. What's interesting is these positioning of their exit frags have left all of uh, the... Very game side, stuck in that site. They're now going to come, come out fighting to try and get out of there. And uh, they only actually got one kill in the end, though. Uh, Very games get their first round of the half. Round number 13. Lucky for some. Unlucky for others. 13-6. And NIP still have money this round. But... If they were to lose this round, things would not be looking good. So a lot at stake for NIP. They really don't want to give Very Games nine match points, all uh, map points rather. Although we've seen NIP come back from that, and that was all thanks to Get Right at SLTV Finals in in July against Virtus Pro. Nine straight map points, and they kept themselves alive. Actually, match points, tournament points, even. Get Right in B, where action is going to come his way. As, uh there are four players up on Banana for Vera Games, and this time they're the real deal. They're coming in as Freiburg will see action. Nate push out. Freiburg gets himself. Oh, didn't quite manage to finish off his breakfast there. And now we'll go looking for more. It's MBK who gets himself the frag on the get right. Freiburg did get himself the kill on the Smiths in the end. He's all on his own here now as the bomb is planted on the other side. Reinforcements coming as exist and fifth layer and forest will join the fun freiburg just 12 points to help four on four after plant here it can be done for nip but the bomb is about to start ticking louder and louder as nip move in now grenade comes forward as fifth layer pushes in and the front exist is going to create the crossfire as the two players at the back in mbk make sure that no one's getting out alive and that's a triple kill by nbk to get very games their 14th round NIP, not a ton of money. Knowing they are NIP, they probably will still buy. And that they will, you see, get right already with a FAMAS. Well, they can't afford not to because if they were to sacrifice this, it would be map point. Yeah. Remember the word map. We are on the second map here. Dust2 was won by uh, NIP in quite convincing fashion in the end. Very Games here returning the favor here on a great Inferno performance. Great performance in front of 89,000 viewers. And we love you all. Getting close.
close to 90. Plus, you know, quite a crowd here on site in Yunchoping as well. Can't forget about them. Plus a beautiful crowd here. Some, someone seriously needs to go find out if that guy's cast was signed by Heaton. I'm dying to know. Okay, NIP now still in this game, but this really is a must win for them. This is a last chance saloon. It really is. The way very games are playing, there is no way they will not close out a game if given nine map points. Flaren's going to open up the shooting with his Famas, just poked around to see whether anything was coming mid. Got a shot off, may have taken some damage onto Smith. We've got some damage to uh, two very games players, but not enough to write home about. And Fiflaren will see action once more. Fires in towards the smoke and gets two kills. Great job, Fiflaren. Can he follow up with more? No, caught by Smith in the end. But reinforcements come in the shape of Forest. MBK eventually gets it with two on two. And NIP oh, map is hanging with in the an balance. Insane shot there on Get Right. I'm not sure the if the hour. camera caught that, but that shot by Shox was just ridiculous. Come at the hour, Shox delivers. That was, that, was, that was exactly like that one kill in his 1v3 on Dusty on top of the A side. Just a really quick one bullet flick shot, and that was just incredible. No wonder NIP is down 15 to 6 when he has, he's playing, they're playing against monsters. <laughs> What's so, that coming over the hill? So nine map points now for Very Games to try to tie the series and take it into the third and deciding map here at DreamHack winner. Not a lot of money for NIP, a bunch of Mag 7s, uh, a Nova, FAMAS, and it's going to be a very tough round for NIP to win. Very Games doing as they always do, whether it's nil-nil or 15-6, slow and methodical, make no mistakes, don't want to... Uh Offer any challenges, and uh, it'll be existence to push up the banana walkway. Smith slow is there. round once again by Very Games. They know NIP is low on money, so there's a good chance they're trying something risky here, overstacking a site, ju just to try to uh, turn the odds in their favor. And Very Games is trying to get a feel for what NIP are doing. So far, only exists low on health, nothing else has really happened here. Smiths trying to look for Get Right in B. Gonna get that opening kill. Get Right down. There is another man in on B, but that's gonna allow Very Games to push forward. Fifth Laren, like a rock for NIP, says you shall not pass. Freiburg goes down. Fifth Laren's gonna have to carry NIP on his shoulders, you feel here, as he... But look at this. Smiths has already taken over the B, B bomb side by, them, by himself. The rotation was spotted though, a cost exists is like, Forrest comes up big, two frags onto Shocks in existence, and this round is still very much alive. Fifflar in full health, frags down Smiths, and now it's all on MBK. He has the bomb, he has time to plant it, he's got an AK against two AKs coming his way. Forrest and Fifflar are there for NIP to maybe, just maybe, keep this map alive a little longer for them, as they will come. One from Banana, one from Spawn, all in the search of NBK, who is there, who connects onto Fifth Laren. A hundred points of health gone in just a rattle. As and no defuse kit for Forrest. And no defuse so that makes kit. it a whole lot. He's going to straight up defuse here, I think. We'll see if NBK peaks or not. Forrest can... Oh! The time clicks louder, though, here. And Forrest jumps around the corner, gets it. But I don't think and he'll get the defuse in no. time. And look at that, NBK actually rode GG before dying, because he instantly knew Forrest would not have time to defuse. And that's just a very dominant performance by Very Games, especially by Smiths, who finished with 29 kills in 22 rounds. Cooled up.